Welcome to my quick look around the Mansell collection. As a lifelong Nigel Mansell fan, you can imagine my excitement when my wife bought us flights to Jersey and tickets to see the Mansell collection. I was a little bit worried that she might get bored, but it turns out you don't need to be a Mansell fan to enjoy this tour. It takes about two hours to have a really good look around at everything and enjoy the exhibition. Entry costs £10, but that money goes to charity and it is absolutely worth it. The Mansell Collection is inside this striking building. On the ground floor is a car dealership. You then go upstairs to tour the collection itself. When you arrive, you'll be given headphones to wear as you walk around. Then Nigel Mansell talks you through the collection. It really brings to life the things that you see in front of you. He shares some stories which even the biggest Mansell fan has probably not heard before. It's so well done, it almost feels like he's there with you personally guiding you around his collection. So what's on display? When you first walk into the room, it doesn't feel that big. But as the tour begins, you'll see cabinets which are full of just about every trophy that Nigel ever won, and he'll tell you all about them. There are displays with memorabilia, even this million-dollar casino chip. When you see all Nigel's winner's caps hung on the wall, you realise you're actually stood in front of the caps which you saw him wearing on the top step of the podium when you watched those races on the TV. It's getting up close to motorsport history. The helmet display is interesting as well. You can see the evolution of the helmet designs and Mansell's famous colour scheme. And if you look closely, you can even see stone chips and damage from the world's fastest racetracks over 20 years ago. You'll get to see Nigel Mansell's actual race suits as well, including the famous red Ferrari suit, the unforgettable blue World Championship Year race suit, and the Newman Haas suit from America. The thing I was most excited about, though, as I'm sure you will be if you get a chance to visit, is the cars. The Grand Prix Masters car is here, and I'm still disappointed that this series didn't last. It was great to watch. The racing, I reckon, was better and more exciting than anything we were seeing in Formula 1 at the time. One of the most stunning Formula 1 cars ever is also here, Nigel's 1989 Ferrari, number 27. This is the original car with all its original bits. Never mind that it's worth a small fortune, it's just beautiful to look at. Then we get to the highlights. The car that finally took Nigel Mansell to the Formula 1 World Championship, the Williams Renault. It looks brand new, it still looks modern, it still looks fast. And hard to believe that this car was in action in 1992. It's an iconic Formula One car driven by a British legend. And great to get so close and enjoy it firsthand. When you finish the collection, it is worth visiting the dealership downstairs because there are a few other Nigel Mansell treats on the wall in the showroom. If you've got any interest in motorsport history, I think you will love the Mansell collection. It's very well presented, thoughtfully put together. I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching my quick look around the Mansell collection. If you have any comments, please do leave them on the video below. And don't forget, to click the subscribe button. Thank you.